When I was younger, my family used this one phrase that would make me feel uneasy. They would say, muchacho no es gente. In other words, a child is not a person. As a young child, this would leave me baffled. But the older I got, the more the condescending tone would enrage me. Because if I wasn't a person, then what was I? A wild animal? Some strange creature? Some sort of lower life form? I guess my younger self never knew. On the bright side, the more I grew, the less common the phrase came to my ears, only being used by my elders when my childish opinions and or immature thoughts would contradict those of theirs. At first, I didn't really see a problem with that. But later, I realized that many times, it was simply their way of diminishing my argument. But what was there to do? After all, how could I, in my short span of life, hold my own against those who towered above me? As young people were often silenced, undermined by parents, teachers, and employers, to whom age always seems to overlook skills and experience. And silencing doesn't just happen directly, like when we're told to be quiet. It also happens indirectly, like when we seek approval and validation from those older than us, and it is not offered. Eventually, we even learn to do the silencing ourselves. Sometimes we consciously do this, and other times it's by accident. But either way, we abuse the trust and admiration that younger people can find in us by denying it to them, just like older people denied it to us. Now take notice how I no longer speak in terms of adults and children. For by definition, the word adult defines how a person acts, not how they look. But the problem is that, as my English teacher says, older people tend to mistake the habits of age for wisdom. This isn't a problem of age, but of superiority. The idea and belief that wisdom is found in years rather than experience. The misconception that free will and the freedom to make choices comes in a number and not mental maturity. Wisdom is found in each of us, no matter how young we may be. Yet, it is almost as if our elders don't often seem to notice that we are the ones that will continue to live in this world once we're gone, and they keep molding it without listening to us. Thankfully, there's people who know better than this mentality and are working to change it. Knowing the importance the youth plays in our society, in 1989, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Conventions on the Rights of Children, a human rights treaty which outlines the social, economic, civil, political, health, and cultural rights that children have, no matter where they live, their race, gender, ethnicity, language, or religion. But now here's where it gets interesting, though. It was ratified by every country in the United Nations, with the exception of one. You guessed it, the United States. Ironically, the country that is self-proclaimed as being one of the most progressive in terms of human rights, the land of the free, born on the foundation that every person is born with a set of equal and inalienable rights, still refuses to ratify the document that was meant to protect and respect the rights of those who are often left voiceless. Such serves to show that the actions of the United States do not always reflect what it pronounces to stand for, and that needs to change. Young people are not okay being ignored and cast aside. Now, more than ever, the idea that the youth are disengaged has been disproved by the increasing political activism that we have been witnessing. Whether it's standing up for our beliefs on gun control, climate change, or abortion, we just want to be heard. For example, the New York Times reported that an estimate of 60,000 people marched through the narrow streets of Lower Manhattan for the global climate strike in New York City. Thousands of young people standing up for what they believe in, yet their actions are still dismissed by older people who often blame it on the liberal indoctrination of students or simply criticize us for having uninformed opinions. And look, I'm not saying that all kids are well-informed. Because trust me, some of us are not. But for many self-proclaimed adults, the same can be said. As the Cochrane Eagle staff write, there exists no shortage of adults who carry their ignorance with pride when stating an opinion. We need to engage and empower young people in meaningful ways. We should be developing their voice, not silencing it. We should be harvesting their brains as these new generations come with new thoughts and perspectives that maybe we haven't even yet considered. We need to stop the stigma that young people don't know what they're talking about. 
We need to teach the youth that their opinions matter, that their thoughts are valid, that their feelings are not just part of a face, and most importantly, that they deserve as much respect as the next person. For despite what some might say, we are people. Muchachos, sí, es gente.